Hello, y'all. I'm using a tripod I got. I praise God I don't have to hold it anymore. And I can do little painting tutorials. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. You make life easier. <laughs> You're a good God. You're so kind to us so many ways. We don't even deserve it, Lord. So, um, I got this idea right now as I was painting. Um, Lord, help me remember in Jesus' name. You know how our fingers are different? Like, no one's fingerprint is like my fingerprint. Your fingerprint is like no one else's fingerprint. In the same way, God has um, purpose and plan for your life. And actually, nobody can, can fulfill it but you. Like, he has something unique for you to do. The devil would, like, have you discouraged to think God doesn't have purpose and plan for your life. But, you know, we know he's a liar, right? And God is um, faithful and true. But I want you to know today how unique you really, really are. You know what I'm doing right now? This technique here? I can't, I can't get this with a paintbrush. It only comes through rubbing my finger that God gave me in a certain way over the canvas like this to get this cool, translucent, stringy look, cloudy look, smoky look. I love it. We are all unique. And God has a really great purpose for your life. It's not just something nice. That sounds good. No, it's a real thing. Real, real thing. And your purpose and his plan for your life is super, super, super duper important. Very important. Like what I, I'm making right now is different than any, anything. Like it's one of a kind. Like maybe things you make, one of a kind. You're one of a kind. You're precious to God. And he wants his purpose is fulfilled in your life. But you know what? There's a little bit of a part on our part. There's kind of a part on our part to play. And that part is saying no to sin. Saying no to the devil. Taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. We need to walk out our walk with God. We need to submit to him in all our ways. And he will acknowledge our path. I mean, he will direct our path. If you see, you want your path directed, right? Because you want God's purpose and plan fulfilled in your life. And to get that fulfilled, you're going to need to submit to him. You're going to have to acknowledge him in all of your ways, in all of your life. Take his word and take it seriously and obey it. You know, there is a part to play. And getting to that plan. You know, the devil has plans for you too. His plan is to kill, steal, and destroy everything God has planned for you. Did you get that? The devil has plans for you too. To kill, steal, and destroy everything God has planned for you. For your life. And it's not just about you. Your life is not about serving yourself. Let me get that straight. It's about serving him, loving him. It's not a duty. It's a, it's an honor. It's a joyful thing to serve God. Should be. If it's not, then I don't know. Like, um, I love serving God. But anyways, like God has purpose for you. No one can fulfill that plan. No one can do what God has created you to do except for you. Unique things can come... Out of your life submitting to Christ. 
He can do mighty things. You know, we are tr truly messed up in our soul. And we're in prison in our souls. But when you submit to the Lord, he can begin to break the prison in your brain, in your life. The cycles that you want broken, they're going to break by submitting to him and all your ways to him. And if you don't, then you'll remain in prison in your soul. But if you start oh, like reading God's word, taking that thoughts captive because the battlefield is in your mind and you start applying God's word to your life and drawing close to him in spirit and truth and worshiping him which is amazing and the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy and you give up this world oh he could do incredible things in your life his purpose and his plans in your life great purpose great plans but you gotta submit to god okay don't follow the devil don't follow the sins of this world which are pleasurable for a moment but bring forth death don't do it man heaven is gonna be glorious for those of you who are actually following the lord oh man jesus is about to come back y'all it's going to be fantabuloso. We're about to be partying in eternity. Oh, yeah. Where it will never end. It will just be so wonderful to be with our mighty king in a kingdom of holiness and righteousness. Kind of like on Disneyland movies, but not wicked. Like, they pervert things and they the devil leads you astray with Disney stuff. Wicked. <laughs> But, um, it's going to be, like, way wonderfuler than anything you could imagine. Bible says, no eye has seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for those that love him, that are called according to his purpose. It's going to be wonderful. This world has nothing to offer. Oops. Nope. It don't. It doesn't have anything to offer. You think it does. But it don't. It leads to death. All the sins of this world that you like. That feel good for a teeny bit of time. That lead to death. Sin is not worth it. It's better to say no to the devil because in the end, you ain't going to lack the bill that you have to pay. God is a God of holiness. We're supposed to depart from evil. We're supposed to turn from those things we know are wrong, that scripture says are wrong, like sexual immorality. And we need to seek the Lord with all our heart and not play games with God. Because eternity is for re, re man. Where you spend eternity is for re, re Okay? You don't want to go to hell. You don't. It's not going to be a fun place. It's not a joke. It's real. This life should be about Christ. If you're really a Christian man. There we go. What a good father you are. I pray this message blesses those who hear. They would draw closer to you, Lord. That they would take your word seriously. There's not a lot of people who are. I pray that your purpose would be fulfilled in their life. And they would stop chasing whatever the devil's putting in front of them. Bless them, Lord. And bless my painting. <laughs> Hope you turn it out real good. <laughs> Thanks, Lord. You're such a good God that you would give me such a fun stuff to do while I wait for you to return. Oh, you're good.
coming soon. You're coming soon, Lord. Thank you for all you do for us. You're a good, good father. Good, good father. Keep enduring, y'all. Keep, keep enduring, man. It's not forever. It's only for a moment. So it's gonna be worth it all in the end. You'll see. You'll see. It's gonna be worth it in the end. Keep enduring. Keep holding on to his love. In his love, you'll be restored. So seek his presence and sing to him. Psalms talks about it. And sing unto the Lord, make a loud noise, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Enter into his presence. Enter into his presence. Enter into his presence by singing to him. Enter into his presence. The devil wants to keep you chained. Wants to keep you chained inside. Closed away. Seclusion. Oh, but don't do that. Find the body of Christ and hang out with the body of Christ, man. Like the Lord says to do in the Bible. Don't let the devil draw you away from the Lord. He should be number one in your life. You can enter into his presence by singing, which is amazing. Because in his presence is the fullness of joy. And it's beautiful to be with him. Much more beautiful than anything in this world, man. Better than any sin. So truly, 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 the presence of God doesn't compare to the sins of this world, man. Imagine heaven. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I don't even want to go to sleep at night because I'm like, I feel the Lord's love and presence so strongly. I'm just like, oh my gosh, Lord. I think when I wake up, I won't feel you like this. I don't want to go to sleep. And then imagine heaven. <laughs> Eternity. It's where I want to be. Eternity. Is where I want to be. How about you? Get excited. Get excited, y'all. Our king is coming. He's coming soon. He's coming soon. This world's gonna be over. The wicked's gonna stop. Be no more cruelty to your sheep. Soon it's gonna be over. Soon it's gonna be no more. No more evil. Only righteousness and holiness in heaven with you. Unless you don't know him. Then you're gonna go to hell. Which I really hope that you take God's word seriously and would stop mocking it. Because it will save your soul, man. You don't want to go to hell for eternity. Like, God is not a joker, okay? It's real. Demons are real. I know. I invoked them and dealt with them for years. And God has given me deliverance over time. But I, I, I got tormented, okay? I've experienced hell on earth. And no man could help me. Except for the living God. Who's real. And delivered me over time and was with me emotionally in every way that I needed that no man could do okay God is real you need to repent for your sins accept his love accept his forgiveness stop stop kicking yourself in the butt and move on with Jesus okay like like not move on like move away like I'm like like 
like accept him you know what i'm saying that was just a bad way of saying it i repent lord that was not a good way of saying it you gotta accept jesus okay and he forgives you and washes you clean as the snow as this white paint is but even even whiter <laughs> in your spirit he makes you a new creation you'll be complete in him you'll know god's joy and love and peace He's so wonderful. He's so nice. He's so kind. I don't like people. People are mean. People just... <sighs> we're people. We're flawed, man. We're jacked up. Me too. But God has a perfect love that people don't have that you can experience through the Holy Spirit, through His Word, through worship. We worship him, man. Oh, he's so good. Come to repentance. Jesus really is coming in the clouds, dude. Don't mock it. He's coming. He's coming. And if you are not ready, you won't be taken to heaven. No sirs. You will be going to hell. That would be correct. That is the scriptures. It is. Yes, sir. So you ought to take the Lord's word pretty seriously. All right. You don't want to experience the wrath of God. It's not a joke. Hell is not a joke. You can't deny God's existence. You just try to. But you know in your heart that God exists. And if you don't accept him in your heart and you don't accept hell, you don't accept the God of the Bible and you want to have a fairy tale of Jesus that's not real, a false Jesus, a false gospel, you're not going to go to heaven. You need to fear God and depart from evil. By the fear of the Lord, and depart from evil, and by his truth, his word, you need to read the word. Jesus died for you, but not for you to continue to act like a fool with the devil. No sirree. He did not call you to act like a fool with the devil no more. That was the past you. You're supposed to put on the new you. The new, according to holiness and righteousness. Yes, holiness and righteousness. In Christ, by him, by his Holy Spirit, through his Holy Spirit. But you have to say goodbye to your sins. And I know it's hard, but you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You need to fear the Lord. Take him seriously. Take his word seriously. Don't play games with God. Hell is a very, very real place that many people are going to be. And you, I don't think you want to be one of them that go there, right? So you need to obey the Lord. He says, don't pay evil for evil. That's not hard to do. You can do it with the Holy Spirit. It says forgive people. You can pray to him. He'll help you forgive people, no matter what they do to you. There's no excuses. There's none. You have no excuse for not forgiving people. You have to do that. If you don't, you won't be forgiven. Jesus is not joking. If your hand caused you to sin, he said, cut it off and cast it from you. Or it's better to have two hands cast into the hellfire than having to having okay i don't remember i i don't remember the verse but like look it's, it's serious you don't want to go to hell you don't want to go there sin is serious you should take it as such and say goodbye to it and don't justify it too many people are trying to justify their sin you're you're deceiving yourself Jesus says, don't be deceived. If he says, don't be deceived, don't you think the devil's going to try to deceive you? He is. 
Remember, he came to kill, steal, and destroy. And he's doing that. He's doing that, y'all. He's deceiving people left and right right now. We in the falling away, man. This is a great falling away like a never before in time. The president is teaching people to bow down to this antichrist. They're they're, they're deceit. People that are in the darkness are just blind. Blind bats. <sighs> My goodness, man. Jesus is coming for Riri. Don't be caught. Like one of them five versions without no oil. You don't want to be caught like that. No, you don't. You need to take the Lord seriously. Like, I'm telling you, I've experienced hell on earth. You don't want to go to hell, all right? I'm telling y'all. I'm telling you, I've experienced demons. They're real. You may not see them. Don't go try to invoke them like a fool, like me. But I invoke them. They real. They re-re, okay? And they will send you to hell. Yes. Oh, they re-re. The spirit realm is re. And if it's re, there's a re-re God. Yeah, a real God. Yes, there is. And re-re loves you. To come to repentance. Jesus is coming soon. Oh, oh. Jesus is coming soon. No, oh. Jesus is coming soon. No, oh. Jesus is coming soon. Oh, yeah, he is. Are you ready? One, two, three. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> I'm excited. It's going to be glorious. Oh, when he parts the sky. And he... Oh, I can't wait. I don't know. Am I going to be rapture first? I don't know. Never quite figured it out. But you know what? I'm excited anyways. Maybe I'll be coming back in them clouds with him. I don't know. But anyhow, it's going to happen soon. Yep, yep, yep. Don't fool yourself. This world ain't continuing. There ain't gonna be some great revival. No. That is some lie from the devil. We are in a great falling away. Falling away. Not revival time. Those people preaching revival are liars. They are wolves in sheep's clothing and there is a lot of them. A lot of them. We are in the last days, y'all. A lot of wolves in sheep's clothing. We are in the great falling away. There is not no re great revival. Don't deceive yourself. Don't fall into that deception. No, 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 no. No. Man, some people just don't want to hear it though. If they just, just close their ears, man. I'm like, what? What? You don't want to obey God's word. You don't want to like listen to correction and reproof. Oh my gosh. People don't want to hear the truth. They just, they want to hear their, they want their itchy ears tickled, just like the scripture says. Just like God says, itching ears tickled. Believe their delusions. I don't get it. I'm grateful I know Jesus. I am so grateful I know him. He's such a good father. He's a perfect father. He gives me joy. He cares about my tears. He gives me a peace that surpasses all understanding. He set me free from the devil. I will sing my song to him for eternity. He is what life really is. This world does not offer life. Uh-uh. It is a deception from the devil. You think that sin and the things of this world and chasing this world is good, but it is not. No, it is not. It is a lie from the devil. You know what else is a lie from the devil? Everybody goes to heaven. Not everybody goes to heaven. Only those who follow Jesus go to heaven. Don't delude yourself. Don't delude yourself. You gotta be a, a, a doer of the word. Not just a hearer only. Deceiving your own self. Don't deceive yourself. Oh, I see deceived Christians. They are deceiving themselves. Don't deceive yourself.
Got to walk in holiness with Christ. Turn away from those things from the devil. Oh, he's coming soon, y'all. I hope you're ready. I'm excited to enter into heaven. I hope you're going to be there too. Because people are unique and God loves you. He doesn't wish any perish, but all come to repentance. But if you don't come to repentance, you ain't going to be there, okay? If you don't want to accept the God of the Bible, you ain't going to be there. And yes, there is, there is a hell. And if you don't, if you want to follow the devil, then you're going to go to hell. And you will understand the righteous judgment of God on that day. Why you are where you are. He's a perfect God. He's perfect and right in all he does. Hope you're choosing holiness and righteousness and doing right by him and following him. And don't worship Mary. Do not worship Mary, y'all. You know what? You are deceiving yourself if you are worshiping Mary and convincing yourself that it is okay. It is not okay to worship the creation. You were supposed to worship the creator, great and almighty God, and Jesus, Jesus is God. Yes, siree, that's what scripture says. You should not worship Mary. You are worshiped in creation, not the creator. And that is wicked and evil and vile and God hates it and it's idolatry. And you will go to hell doing that. And you don't want to go to hell. Don't be prideful, man. Listen, this is truth. Why would you worship Mary? Mary didn't create the heaven and the earth. Mary doesn't know how to create heaven and earth. She doesn't answer your prayers from heaven. No, she doesn't. That's idolatry. You're deceived by the devil and you know it. Except Jesus. Repent, man. I'm not being mean. I'm just tired of it. I think it's ridiculous and stupid because she didn't create. She is not God. That is just horrible. Why would you do that? I don't even understand. I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. If I'm coming across hateful, well, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be hateful, but we're going to say I'm not a perfect Christian, okay? I still have a lot of refining from God and pruning that he has to do in me and pride that he has to reveal and remove because I don't see it. I'm not a, a very good shepherd of my own soul, but he is. He's a good, good shepherd. He cares for me. In my soul like nobody else does people hurt us but he's a good good shepherd he's a real god he doesn't leave his sheep alone the sheep hear his voice he's a good father people are not perfect but he is he's a perfect father he's always been there for me since i came to know him four years ago he's perfect on all he does so much wiser than me he goes before me and behind me teaches me not to fear he's a good father i love him so much i hope you're inspired to come to know him through this video you just gotta accept jesus in your heart he died on the cross for your sins and he loves you very much read the bible play worship music we need to read the scriptures take those words seriously jesus is coming back soon real real soon for those that love him hope you love him god bless you bye, -bye.